Good day everyone, and welcome to today's video. Today I'm just going to be going over a brief video, well a clip, well a replay sorry, I really need to get my English right today, of the IL-2M that I had when I was grinding war bonds for the TB3. Now, as most of you may know, the TB3 is now in war bonds. If you haven't got the plane, I'd recommend grinding it. I'm going to be doing it, and I'm going to be getting the plane sometime on the 20th, if it all goes to plan. And I've been using various planes to do it. The IL-2M 1943 is one of my favourites to do it with, other than the P3. And this match, I had a pretty fun time with. And it also showcases just how bad German teams are really becoming. As you will see. Now the IL-2M in War Thunder has a very good reputation. Not as much nowadays because of the cannon buffs. But this aircraft is known for dishing out punishment, taking punishment, and having a very good versatile overall capability. The, the loadout I use in this battle, I believe I use the RS rockets. I use the 8x132s and the 4 100kg bombs. The 23s I load universal. In fact, no, I load armored targets, and then for it's the 7.62s I load universal for. The Talgunner has universal. Obviously, my IL-2 is long spaded, but I prefer to use this aircraft because I like it. So, we're going to get into the battle. <coughs> and this is also a personal thank you to King Arthur the First in this battle. Without him, I'd have probably been dead. And this battle would not have happened as well as it did. So we are on a frontline map. I typically like this kind of map in a ground attacker. Simply due to how simple it is. I, I prefer how easy it is for ground pounders, but at the same time, people just go on the deck. People just go on the deck and immediately think ground attackers are just going to be easy kills. How do you fly right? So this battle is a 3.7, I believe. Or it might be 3.3 .3 because then again, no, there was a fuck off when 90, so that does make sense. It is a, unless the A1 got down to it, I think it's 3.7, maybe even 3.3, .3. not entirely certain. So I'm just going to skip ahead to where we get to the battlefield. I was originally going to go for the targets on the right hand side, but then I thought I get less trouble on the left hand side, so I'll go for that. Now, I do like the IL-2's guns, and I also like the rockets and the bombs. They're very useful. The aircraft is very versatile. It's just, the IL-2 is really slow, but that actually comes in handy later. So I start off by doing gun runs. I always do gun runs first, then I'll fire the ordnance. Well, fire the rockets and drop the bombs, obviously. I'm just going through using the machine guns because I like to save the cannons. And here comes the Muppet in his Foghorn. The Foghorn 190 it was a 1930. I, don't know, I think it was developed in the 40s. Early 1940, if I recall correctly. And it was a high altitude aircraft. It was meant to be at high altitude. And this Muppet is down here tailgating my IL 2. I spot him at this point, coming for me, and I have to turn. And I don't know why you're down here, buddy, but you nearly took a head on the dial too and paid the price. He does the right thing. Don't get me wrong, he does the right thing. But the AL2 slow speed really comes in handy here. So obviously, at this point, I'm calling for backup. And of course, anti-aircraft is trying to tear me apart. Whilst I'm at slow speed. I have the flaps down there momentarily. I'm calling for backup at this point in the chat. I'm trying to load it now. And King Arthur the first is going to come to my rescue. You can clearly see I'm in distress, and he's coming to help me. But the IL-2 slow speed and low stalls, well, high stall speed, really comes in handy here. The Focke Wolf is just too damn fast. He overshoots, and King Arthur is able to put him down. Thank you to King Arthur, sir. 
That was very helpful. You just saved my life. So I punched up a quick thank you in chat as well. I believe I said, yes, I said, next time don't focus on attacker. And I quickly type in back, cheers, Arthur. That's what I appreciate about teammates. But now it's just back to ground pounding. I needed, I think it was 30 ground targets killed to finish the special task that I was doing. I had to get 80 kills in total, ground attacker. Trust me, it took a while. Especially when you had teammate or enemy teams like that. I did try to use the tail gunner there to shoot up that artillery, but of course now you can't shoot through your own tail. Now I do get to use a 50 cal. You only get 150 rounds back there, but it can come in handy. The enemy team has pretty much collapsed at this point. And I'm just gonna keep going through, doing my runs. And just keep grab out it really, that's all I can really do. It's an IL2, that's what it's built to do. I know some people fly this thing as a heavy fighter. I mean, it's a good plane, but I certainly wouldn't want to use it in that way. I mean, yes, I do use J87 Stukas for heavy fires, but they can actually do it. This thing is just as slow as the Stuka, in my opinion, just as unmaneuverable. It's got the firepower, but firepower doesn't make a damn difference when the Stuka can easily just pull vertical much better than this. The AL2 can soak up more punishment though, so I'm guessing that's why most people would try and fly the IL-2 as a heavy fire. So at this point, we've just got the two of the remaining three enemy fighters in front of me, as well as Peter Force in his Heinz 111. I'm not bothered about him, I'm more concerned about the fighters. There's an RE-2001 CM, sorry, CB, and a Series 1. Not too concerned about them for the moment. And I fire a long burst at that AA gun, and I actually get it. After doing that brief burst at the end there. So up to 24, we've got about 6 to go if I recall correctly. BF-110 has just shot down our Yak-9. Don't worry, there won't be just one Muppet coming after us, there'll be two. Not saying who it is, but it is not the BF-110 because he's just gone down. If I recall. Yes, he has gone down. The BF-110 has gone down. The other IL-2 on my team has just been shot down by the RA-2001. You'd have thought he'd go for the LA-5, the P-39, or the Yak-1 first. No, he just wants an easy kill. And there he goes. You didn't accomplish anything, buddy. So now the last Muppet on the enemy team is the last guy alive. And if he was paying attention to my commentary there, he is the Muppet who is going to come after us. I haven't even fired the rockets, I've just been using the cannons and the machine guns, which are very, very effective on this kind of map. I don't remember how much ammo I have at this point, but it's only about 60 shells remaining. The Russian 23s fire really quickly. But I'm scraping the bottom of the barrel here for ammunition. So at this point, I'm going to go for a bomb run on that tank. The annoying thing is, in my opinion, it should have been a kill, but, well, a tank kill, but. The bomb lands right next to the tank, and it gets me a hit. <sighs> so I have to circle back for another run. Annoying, but you can't win a world, can you? I'm not at the best speed for doing this, but I'll take it. It's better than nothing. Second run, bombs away. Those ones are right on top of the tank. There's a tank kill. 32 until ground targets destroyed. So I've still got the rockets remaining. I don't know how much cannon ammo I have left, but I'm guessing not a lot. And there we go, rocket kill on a AAA gun. That proves I'm completely out of ammunition. King after the first starts to come back to my way. 
if you actually end up watching the video, mate, bro fist to you, not PewDiePie style, because no one likes PewDiePie. Um, oh, here comes the Muppet, Mattia Targaryen. Now, you would have thought that he'd either go for King Arthur, P39s, or the Yak-1 that's on my team. No, he's going to come for me. And I was just sat there laughing my ass off. And I appropriately typed in chat, God, everyone's after me today. It felt like it. Why would you dive on an IL-2M when there's an LA-5F above you? I do not know. But that manoeuvre that he's just done there, ladies and gentlemen, is going to cost him his plane. Thanks to King Arthur the <sighs> First. German and Italian teams, I tell you. They're getting worse. And look, he's still coming after me. So I jump into Telgun's position, ready to engage for a brief second there, but I don't get what he was trying to accomplish. You're in a series one, mate. You've got a 50 50 chance of taking me on. Even then, the back gun is pretty effective in this aircraft. But now he finally realises that King Arthur the First is on his tail. So I decide at this point I'm going to go back to firing rockets and things. Matteo Targaryen, you watch this video, mate. You should have gone for the LA5 first, buddy. Go for the LA5, deal with him, possibly. And then, go for me. Rocket kill on that tank was nice there. I believe that is the last ground target kill I'm going to get. But now at this point, King of the Burst is critically damaged. Atia. And well... That's another special task done for me. In my opinion, that could have been a kill, but I got a hit at least. King of the Verse is a... well... I wasn't expecting him to save me, but... Keeping my ass covered twice, you owe my respect, buddy. That's all I'm saying. That was also a hit. But unfortunately, I am completely out of ammunition at this point. Bombs are used, rockets are used, guns are empty. And that's me. All done. Now at this point, one of the P two, the both the P thirty nine, sorry, have joined the party to get the area two thousand one. Maybe if you'd have gone for the LA five first, buddy, you might have had an altitude advantage over my team. But now, C Y and his P thirty nine N has just taken him out of the fight, and that's the end of the match. So, King after the first mate, you had a reasonable game, but thank you for saving me. If you watch this video, mate, thumbs up to you. And Mattia, well, obviously it doesn't show him because King Arthur got, well, it was actually um, CY who got the kill. Mattia, buddy, should have gone for the P, that, well, sorry, the LA5 first. You should have gone for King Arthur, not me. You cost yourself this match, a potential victory. To be truthfully honest, you cost yourself a potential victory. But everyone makes mistakes, buddy. I know the feeling. So, I had a pretty fun time in this match. The IL-2 did its job. It soaked up the punishment from the AAA. And she's a great bird. If you haven't flown the IL-2s, fly them. Especially the M models with the back gunners. They are very useful. One plane that I do recommend you avoid though in the IL-2 line is the IL-237. Don't fly it. It sucks. Yes, it's got two stonkingly great 37s, but it flies like a bus with four flat tyres. Anywho, I'll let you guys get off. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and a brief overview of the IL-2M, and I'll catch you on the next one.